Alright my friends, in this video what I want to do is just want to show you how to get a git repository to your Ubuntu system. So now I just installed a brand new version of Ubuntu and what I want to do, I just want to get a, 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 a repository that I started working right before I installed this reporting system. So all you want to do, if you have, uh, you have it in GitHub, you just go there. So this is a very small application that I'm building, so just go to the application, whatever you want to copy, just hit uh, clone or download. And uh, what I need to do is to come back over here and write the command uh, git clone and then the repository. Now hit. But what you see that uh, in a brand new system, your git is not installed in Ubuntu. So let's uh, install that real quick. Uh, then put your admin password and uh, he say yes I want git if you're a developer um, you definitely need git to track your changes and it's not a huge big file so it, it will just take a, take, take a minute or so to download uh, it will depend on your speed uh, but for most cases it should go pretty fast and then what we'll do run the command one more time so it's done so let's see what happens so there we go it's downloaded everything now if i hit ls there's my flask uh, if i cd into flask uh, do ls all my files are here if i do git status there's nothing to complain. Uh, comment is uh, on the master branch, and you can do. Um, I mean, there we go. You have everything. So, this video is all about um, you know uh, what to do. So let's do one other thing. Um, so let's create a file touch test dot txt. Okay. So. Uh, now you have made some changes, right? So, so, so let's try git status one more time. So there is the file that's showing up in red. So that means this is a new file that's different from your repository. So let's do a git add and um, let's add everything. Or right, just add the text.txt. So that's the only thing that has changed. So if we do the git status again see new file is now this there's no other changes so now we can comment this so git comment and say adding a test file okay so that's all you need to do now what you see that it says that you cannot uh, comment it because two other things needs to be configured so let's configure those two real quick so uh, there we go git uh -oh. So if you ran this command, so this is actually set to email like that. So you don't want that. So just rerun this command and just uh, uh, let's copy this one more time. Copy and then paste and then you, what you want to do? You want to change this to your own. So let's just add my email address right there, and you also want to update this. Uh, let's see, best or uh, same thing happened. So, I don't want your name as my name, so let's change that to. There you go. So now we have configured everything to uh, push, to comment, uh, test file. Okay. There you go. So now it's uh, added that file properly. So if I do uh, git status one more time, now there is nothing that everything is clean. Okay. Uh, I can do git push master origin or origin master one of those. Let's try master origin. Fatal master doesn't have it to be git repository. Git push. Uh, what is the git push command that we do? Uh, git push origin master. So let's try origin master. 
Right. So now what you're doing, you're pushing the local repository that you have back to GitHub because you have made the changes uh, in your local system. So, so that's my username and I'm going to provide my password and there we go. Now it's all updated and your GitHub should be synced properly. So let's go back over there. And in here you see there is a the test file is not there. I'm gonna just refresh my page and there we go. There's a test file. There should not be anything inside, right? Zero lines, we just a test file that we created. So that's uh, in a nutshell how you can get your repos back to your system and how you can upload and sync it back to your GitHub repository. Uh, there probably are hundreds of other uh, tutorials out there but I want to make this very very short and brief and exactly what you need to do to make this happen so hope you like this video if you like it please subscribe and give me a thumbs up thank you very much